I use Hyperland, by the way, but as a normal human being. Hello and welcome back to my cozy little YouTube channel. This video is a follow up to my Arch Linux video because I installed another nerdy geek thingy on my gaming laptop. This time the Hyperland desktop. But what is Hyperland exactly? From what I know, Hyperland is a tiling window manager for the Wayland display server. That means it's future proof and should also perform better. Sadly, there are still many issues because not that many apps run natively on Wayland at the moment. So one day in French class, I had nothing to do, I just installed Hyperland. And Hyperland isn't that bad to set up. You just install it, edit the configuration file to use a terminal you have installed and you are ready to launch into Hyperland. Hyperland is in general pretty easy to configure, even as a normal person, because you just edit the text file instead of putting some sliders and enabling some checkboxes. And Hyperland looks very good from the beginning, so you don't need to edit that much. So I think in about an hour you are done. So yeah, you can install Hyperland even as a normal person, even if you aren't a PC nerd. If you know how to read text and edit a text file, you are good. And the problems are often just a Google search away. Speaking of problems, let's talk about them. Installing Hyperland is very easy, but you run into some issues along the way. Setting up the monitors wasn't easy and my second monitor is still recognized as my third screen in the workspace. I don't really want to search for a fix, so if you know one, write it in the comments. The second problem was that X11 apps just looked bad all pixelated and very zoomed in. I also don't know or don't want to learn how to configure Waver because I really don't understand it and it's very complicated to set it up. So I think you won't really use Waver as a normal person. I also didn't want to install too many new apps. So I still use a lot of KDE apps like Console and Dolphin together with KRunner because Hyperland is not my main desktop, it just has its specific use cases. I now have Hyperland and KD Plasma, but I don't really see the point of Hyperland. Plasma is just way more useful and everything works. On Hyperland, some things are just very difficult to use and need a lot of setup. Gaming is probably better on KDE and the best use case for Hyperland, coding, is also not that good because I just use VS Code for web development. And I will not start coding on something like NeoVim. I either need a real IDE or a text editor like Kate. So Hyperland is just a desktop to try some stuff, do some experiments and flex with the tiling windows, but nothing more. My main desktop is still KD Plasma and I don't see a near future where I switch. For that Hyperland had to be more feature complete, but that's kinda against the spirit of a tiling window manager. But for your information, this video was entirely produced on Hyperland, so it is definitely capable of doing some serious work. I hope you had a great day, watch out for the release of my game only control on Windows and Linux, even running on Hyperland like you saw in the video. And Bye-bye.